In this video, we will talk about Cassandra consistency. As we said earlier, Cassandra has tunable consistency. It means we can increase or we can decrease the consistency level. But doing so comes with a performance impact. Also, we can configure the consistency for the read and the write operations separately. But first of all, let's understand what is a write consistency and what is a read consistency. So write consistency means the number of replicas on which the write operations must complete before returning the success back to the client. And read consistency means the number of replicas to check for consistency before returning the data requested by the client. So let's take a wider look at the write consistency first. Write consistency has four consistency level. Level 1, all, quorum and local quorum. Let's talk about them one by one. By consistency level 1, we means only one replica node need to complete the write operation in order for request to succeed. So let's say we have a client who wants to initiate a write operation with the cluster. It may connect with any node in the cluster and that node will act as a coordinator node. Suppose the client sends a request to node number 5, so the 5 node will become the coordinator node. And based on the partitioning key and the replica placement strategy, this coordinator node will decide on which all node the data has to be written. Suppose it find out the data has to be written on node number 1, 2 and 3, so it sends the request simultaneously to all three nodes. But as soon as it receives the success acknowledgement from any one of the nodes, suppose the node number 3 says that it has completed the write operation it sends the success acknowledgement back to the client without waiting for node number 1 or node number 2 to complete. So that was consistency level 1. The consistency level all, this coordinator node will wait for all the replica nodes to complete. So it will wait for node number 1, 2 as well as 3 before sending the success acknowledgement back to the client. And with the consistency level quorum, if we have a quorum value of 2, so this coordinator node will wait for exactly 2 replica nodes to complete. So that was the one all and quorum. Let's talk about local quorum. We know that Cassandra can span over multiple data centers. Suppose we have two data centers and if we say local quorum is 2, it means 2 replica from the same data center as where the coordinator node reside should complete the write operation before the coordinator node can send the success notification back to the client. So let's understand with the help of a diagram it will be more easy. Say we have a client, it sends a write request to the coordinator node. The coordinator node is in data center 1. So this coordinator node will send the write request simultaneously to all the replicas in data center 1 and data center 2. But as soon as it get at least two respond, two write complete respond back from the two replicas from data center 1, it sends the success notification back to the client. So it will not wait for the data center 2 replicas to respond, it will wait only for the local replicas to respond. So that was the local quorum. Let's talk about one more consistency level called each quorum. So in the last uh, local quorum, we saw that we, the coordinator node will only wait for the local replicas to respond. But in each quorum, if each quorum value is 2, two replicas per data center needs to complete the write operation before the coordinator node can send success notification back to the client. So if the client sends the write request to coordinator, it sends the request to all the nodes in the data center 1 and data center 2 but it will wait for response from both data center 1 and data center 2 before sending the success notification back to the client. So that was a difference between the local quorum and each quorum.